Hi, I'm Jeff Fletcher and this is another Silver Ranked video. Um, this time I'm taking up the mid position as Ziggs, who's one of my favourite characters to play in solo queue. I really like Ziggs because he can put out huge amounts of damage. Um, he's not massively good at focusing any one target because his bombs bounce and his minefield and his alt cover an area but in terms of being in a team fight and smashing the opposing team down so that your assassins and carries can pick them off he's pretty fantastic um, if you look at all the graphs and stuff at the end of the game you can often look at Ziggs and see that he's dealt the most damage sometimes by far of any champion so that's a, a nice thing about him um, we've got a few hyper carry elements to our team, like NASA's definitely, I can do that. Um, Ash isn't so much, but Ash does like to scale pretty well. Their team has some scary carries as well. First of all, Vayne, gotta watch out for her. Um, Aatrox can be pretty good, especially in the very late game if he gets fully built. Um, it looks like I'll be versus Ari, who has actually pretty crazy range and good ability to move around um, Ziggs's bombs. Initially, she doesn't wave clear quite as quickly as I do on minions, which is something to help me out. And hopefully, I may be able to outfarm her a little, at least in the early. Um, I've got to be careful with her though, because she can engage on you awful quick, and if she gets a top, she can definitely uh, wreck your day pretty hard. It's buying the usual items, the door entering pots before going to lane. So I think that's Jungle Cho'Gath for us. Yeah, we've got Jungle Cho'Gath, and they're jungling a Jace. Let's blow this joint. Jace is slightly the unusual jungling ring. choice, although he is totally fine. Like the way he can just skip through his skills, he's pretty mana intensive, so he may be having quite a bunch of portbacks early. So hopefully that means he won't be the earliest um, ganker. That could be nice. Keep a bit of pressure off. Well, Blitzcrank and Vayne, really, hopefully, Ash and Thresh know how to start grabbing. And uh, Chosha sends a little message. I think that's kind of fair. I think that's probably good to output that kind of information. So your team knows your jungling style. I do think overall we have a pretty late game comp. And we're actually relatively decent against Bane Lake with my minefields, Ash's arrow, Thresh's grab and box, Cho'Gath's knockup, and Nasus just getting a good old fashioned Q. Or W in her face is a decent chance to pop her before she really messes us up too badly. <laughs> what do you mean this doesn't look safe? Uh. So I guess we'll just uh, we'll see how it goes. Usually as a mean you've got time for exactly one onto the blues to deal a bunch of damage, um, just to help the boy get his job done and hopefully that means he can come and help you out early as well. Nice. And you just have time to land that hit on the green. I'm going, I'm going. Yari's ball is always pretty nasty, just because it comes out so fast. So you can see what's going on on the screen. You don't get a lot of reaction space. I'll trade a bit of a hit with her there, it's about even. Don't worry, I got this. I'll just take this opportunity to get my warding to help push the wave. I like to stay at least reasonably pushed against a lot of um, recurrent mid. Dodge the taunt there. I should send that in, but I should definitely keep the pressure up. That's good though, it's going to be waste for a minute for the turret. And so it's me with farm 13, no farm 11, so that's looking okay to begin with. And a bomb round. Yeah, she did get a bit of all the way there. Just overestimating, entering my damage slightly with the, uh, the bomb at the moment. Damage that I've put on there. 
Yeah, Ori has a much better capability to dive me than I have to dive there, so it's important to, work to keep my health up. That was a pretty nasty engage. Um, I mean, she burnt flash, I burnt flash, and healed, she burnt ignite on me, so overall it's worked out pretty fair. I want to try and stay in the field a bit longer, and I have this health problem going on. So you have to be really careful now. to stay till I had 880 got me out of lane now, so I'm just going to SS my lane and be in front of my lane. I know! I think so there's a case. Time to back away. Yeah, Jace timed a pretty good counter game there. I think that's maybe a good judgment to still pretty good. I'll take that. Actually, I'm getting towards that 880, so I may leave the lane with what I want, even though First, I was a plan. Yep, there it goes. 880. And... That's, that's some good harass from her perspective. It looks like she's gone as well, yeah. Send that enemy missing. So I'm off to complete the first part of Athens, which basically is a nice item. It gives me both magic resist, which is good against Ari um, and most of the patient. other AP mints out there. And it also gives me all the mana I really need for most of the game now. So I'll be able to throw a lot more harass her yeah, way. Like early on, six bombs and minefields are quite expensive, so it is a little bit hard to keep some of the mid laners off your back if they go quite divey and keep your farmer. Like at the moment, I've still got slightly more farmers, but that really is it's no real margin. Yeah, fortunately for me, she really telegraphed that to the so it gave me a little bit of a way down there, but she certainly getting us some damage in the way. Oh my god! It's important really against a lot of mids as a troop to keep lateral movement, because it's much easier to hit you when you're moving forward and back than when you're moving side to side. So that is definitely something to bear in mind when you're, you're in the middle. With Ari, it's really what, important what to watch out. You're not giving her an opportunity to ultimate as well, because she's definitely going to be there. Uh, not to get a kill, but more than well, presence here because if she's about half health it makes it a lot less attractive for her to try and pull something off and get rid of her and then get the farm. She does start to farm very efficiently uh, later on as was demonstrated there with the end of her wave clear and I think yeah she's actually equal with me but I've got a bit of time here in the lane so I think Yeah, she can like dodge my long range shots quite easily, so I'm gonna be careful. I think she's maybe even going ahead of me, yeah, for my own moment. Don't worry! She's probably going this. more down. Well let's hope that main is back, because she got the kill first, so she seems like she's been plenty of trouble to me. Ari's got a blue one. My way. I'm unlikely to get blues in this game because Shogun is my jungler. And he just wants to have that. What thing I enjoy against a lot of mids, which I don't have against Ari, is the ability to. I do a lot of damage with the passion of my auto attack which I really do like. Um, unfortunately with Ari, she's so 
able to dodge around would be um, really under a lot of threat from primarily. Like that's just so damaging uh, when it comes in. I really can't often to be in range of an auto attack with her. It's tough for me. But that's a really good extra ability that I have and I don't need to spend mana into um, when they get a little back on that. It's nice having a little bit of tower hitting happening there, and that probably let me get ahead 56 to 55. Wow, small margin, small margin. I'm out my base. It's a bit annoying. Um, oh, I was going to say I'll check off an ultimate. I'll get the W. I do like the W, but I love damaging the other versions a lot to find myself often. Not leveling it, but maybe a little later than I should. Oh my god, yeah. Just saw that coming, but not in time to actually save myself. Good thing now is I get to grab boots and actually start getting more ability power and cooldowns. My damage has just gone up quite a bit. Situation overall, Thresh has got some kills. Um, Ash has died. Anyone got him? Bob leaves yes. Vayne. Let's have a look at that. Situation. No, actually, not to Vayne. Not to Shane. Okay, fair enough. Single six, I can always toss my friends. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, I might just actually get the floor. And carry on pushing my way. Yeah, she's been able to put a bit of pressure on me with that blue, and that eventually did lead to my demise. Don't worry. Coupled with this. not quite perfect positioning. I thought her threat had kind of gone because she'd done it all the time and I got my way out of the that, but actually full sense of security and it, it let her get out. That bit of extra speed should help me out with her a bit now. Show you guys coming. Okay, so that's fine. Right. I was looking at maybe having a bit of a break. That's a big thing that blues have been um, giving her a big advantage because she just chucks the hat in day. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity to pull back, just tell my fellow teammates that I'm going, and let's go and complete that. Yeah, the rail. This is good though because it really will help <laughs> the corner and also give me a few extra skills. What do you mean this doesn't look good? I'm gonna lose a bit of farm against my tower, so 85 and 91. I 
It'll be nice if some of my teammates are starting to take their lanes now because when they do, um, we're going to be able to team fight a bit more. And Ziggs really excels when like he's actually a opponent. That's where he's at his best because and all his damage is so high anyway. Has more targets to blow up on and actually slash damage, so it's much easier to hit in a into a lot of free. And because everything you're doing has AoE, it actually just is multiplying your damage throughout the a great deal. That's a good note if you are playing this, um, not standing next to each other is a huge um, upgrade to your play. It really holds back the amount of damage that you can really put out there. I mean, Ziggs is okay in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but he's he's pretty mediocre. He can juke all right. His auto attack bonus is is nice, but he really does want to be in the thing. Well, the side of it, he's like tossing bombs in on everyone. I needed to flash there, but I really didn't want us to be able to roll. We have an army coming out to flash and fly. Double kill. Yeah, I'm sick. I think now could be a really good time to get the dragon. There's three of us who can, and they can't really come in. They've lost two good damage sources. We may lose the half for it, but I think it's pretty well done. That's what I said. I'm actually going to need to learn to do it right now. But nonetheless, pretty good farming, harassment, and I just over to Gari again. And I got that 16 from the first excessively large rod. Needlessly, in fact, needlessly. Not excessively, needless. Okay, right. Well, um, I was going to check to see if she bought anything else, but to be honest, I think it was just good play. 
on her part. Um, a bit of foolishness from her not understanding that she's got a higher level. Oh wow, she completely grabbed on that line. So it was itemization. I guess she didn't do a thing, so she's gonna have less mana. I suppose if she just like receiving that move, she just have mana that on the end there. Pretty well all up. I will be able to complete my Rabadons. Nice tackling there from Thresh. Really dominating now. Oh, wow, Ari's still getting that itemization pretty good, even though I am outfarming her. But getting some nice new bits online. A bit of damage protection from I'm not impatient. Probably should grab stage two things pretty soon.
have to actually remove that inhibitor. But it looks like Nasus is getting a bit of a backdoor on. I was thinking I haven't seen much of him. Not generally a fan of backdooring when you're just more powerful than them. Why not front door? It's easier to get it right when you can't communicate that much. But okay, fine. It's still working out alright. I have by far, well, by a fair margin, I wouldn't say by far, but I have by a fair margin the most fun of the game. While Nasus actually he was just one behind. An ally has been and that is why. Don't, don't back door unless you want to. Especially if you don't want to have any I'm not impatient. Because people come and kill you and they kill your team because they get 5 v 4s It's just not worth it when we're so ahead, there's no reason to actually do that. I think we should get the dragon here because we can do it with almost no risk. Ganache just running into danger. Really no need. Yeah, the Russian is pretty on to it. Yeah, he knows what's happening. Taking the inhibitor, take like five.
give us a lot of ground in the early game, so splitting up just seems like a bad tactic. It's definitely not going to pay off. Once you're slowing them down, it's really nice to also be output damage because they're slow and bleeding. And then you can walk away and uh, let that finish them off. Let's try and like all group. But I guess if we win. Pretty much because of the old characters by the way of sacrifice, traded more and then decided not to back off and run again. 